diagnosed with type 1 diabetes more than a decade ago, Sandy Whitbeck has followed the prescribed treatment for her disease. Still, she knew something else was wrong. I was diagnosed with something that didn't fit, but no one was willing to take any other steps to look at anything else. Those next steps took Sandy to Mayo Clinic in Arizona for an appointment with Dr. Radica Demesia, who completed genomic testing on Sandy's DNA, tests that determined Sandy had a rare mitochondrial disorder. Dr. Demesia was very helpful to me. She's the only one to ever agreed to run the test. We found something big. I have mitochondrial disease that has done something to my pancreas of a different nature. So now we have to figure out treatments, and I feel very confident that we'll get there. The way we perform genetic testing is take patients' DNA sample, which could be from saliva or blood. We did DNA testing of her saliva, and we essentially read her entire whole exome, or the meaningful part of her DNA, which included the mitochondrial DNA. And the answer to her diabetes was uh, in a rare mitochondrial mutation. Genetic testing can reveal changes in your genes that may cause illness or disease. It can also provide information that can be passed down to family members for future treatment or family planning. I'm thankful to have taken that next step and literally changed the difference into the future for my family. This test result did help us not only provide her with an answer, she has multiple members in her family with a clinical history similar to hers as well as a lot of liver disease that has not been explained and now we think that this mitochondrial DNA mutation potentially explains that as well. It's a game changer so now we will go forward with my endocrinologist here and hopefully we find other ways to stabilize my life, make my life better. For the Mayo Clinic News Network, I'm Joel Street.